Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Uh, this is the video I'm on about with the capacitor. This is a 30 kV capacitor at 2000 picofarads. Okay. Uh, it's just a just a rolled um, just a rolled uh, poly cap that you can just see there. And I've got another one here which is um, 4 kV at 68 nanofarads. I've got quite. A, I've ordered ninety of these off uh, eBay, which are quite uh, cheap. Um, my friend John uh, High Voltage Projects told me about them, so uh, I ordered a load myself, and I'm just making a cap bank for my um, microwave oven transformer Tesla coil that uh, we're both uh, doing together. Um, just uh, gluing them down to this piece of wood with um, a good old heat gun, just down there. Glue gun, should I say? So, I'll uh, show you this capacitor running off a 5.5 timer through a flyback and show you the arcs before and after. Now, when I do the um, the connection, when I do the connection for uh, uh, through the capacitor, you're going to actually it's, it interrupts with my camera, so I'm going to have to come right back and zoom in. And so anyway here it goes I'll show you and anybody making comments about my old sheet that I used to stop me wrecking the bed there's nothing wrong with spider-man <laughs> right here it goes this is the let me just connect it and I'll show you the arc before uh, that should be about right so you can see that okay right and now Come right back. It's two different settings on the on the uh, flyback. There's a higher output and a lower output with different pins. Pretty evil, isn't it? That, and that was off eBay, and it cost about five quid. And it's uh, foil wrapped, and it's quite, quite a good output. Thirty kV. It's not a pulse cap, but um, you know it, it works quite well. I suppose you could use it for a Tesla coil, but it won't last very long. Might last. Uh, well, it depends how much you put through it, to be honest. But it's uh, certainly got some grunt. Let me show you that again. You can hear that. Let me turn my light out. I've got a light on for. Let's zoom in for you. See it messing with the focus then, with the uh, zoom in. That's evil. Right, let me show you this one running. Let me just uh, make sure that this has got no charge in it, because the last thing I want to do is bloody touch it, because I've touched it before when I was talking to my friend John, and he was, oh, just just touch it, and just just touch it. He said, oh, I'd touch it, because <laughs> he's a madhead. <laughs> and then we're talking about John High Voltage Projects here, and... Uh, I said, all right, I said, I'll touch it just for you. Because I knew, I knew it was not dead. I mean, I know it's a DC output, because, of course, AC will not uh, charge that capacitor, hold the charge. And uh, it was only a little bit. I knew it only, it'd, it'd give you a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, a bit of a sting, but uh, it's not really fatal. But uh, I touched it, and uh, it made his day, bless him. Because he's in quite a lot of pain at the moment with his back, bless him. And uh, it gave him something to laugh about. But, of course, the uh, the laughing gave him pain. <laughs> right, let me show you the output from this one. <sighs> this has got some snap. Oh, it does hurt my ears. Turn that around so it's a bit more on the bed so you can see it. 
they don't last very long of course putting 10 12 kv through these four kv ones but it's one spare that i've got so i just thought i'd show you it running That's evil. Smell the ozone from them. Of course, as you knew, as you know, guys, if you don't know, any of you don't know, you'll get ozone from a white, uh, uh, white spark like that. That's any, really, but from an actual arc, it hardly produces any ozone whatsoever. Um, and a lot of people will back me up on that. That uh, the only time you'll any really get any ozone is from that sort of arc spark. Um, not from proper arcs, from when you draw in an arc off a flyback or something like that. That doesn't really produce any ozone whatsoever. It's only an arc, uh, a spark like that. That will do. So, thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves. Be safe, please. Um, you know, please don't try any of these um, experiments at home because uh, they are very dangerous. So, take care, guys. Speak again.